So now that the holidays are over, I hope that you guys had a fun and safe time during your Christmas expeditions, whether it was at your family's house, if you went traveling, whatever it might be, I hope you had fun. But now we're getting right back into the shtick of things, getting back into my moderator's videos, finishing up, this is the last video of my moderator Hamzat, I'm letting my moderators pick all my videos for the month of December. And so today, we're getting back into the what if videos, where we're gonna talk about a specific brand and what I envision their next release to look like. He did help me with this one, so we're gonna be looking at the brand Victor and Rolf today and what I expect their next release to look like, or at least what I hope it will look like. So without further ado, let's get it. What's going on my great smelling dudes? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Randy, AK Fragrance Dude. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate you guys. I hope that you guys had a great holiday. And again, we're gonna be getting into another what if video. I started these a few weeks ago where I, uh, well before moderator month, where I was talking every Monday about a new brand or a brand and what their next release I envision it to look like. Whether it's a new line, a flanker that I think that they should come out with. And so Hamzat wanted to move on to another one of those topics as one of his topics. And so he wanted me to do Victor and Rolf. And in reality, he did help me with this one. Uh, so he did design the bottle on Photoshop, all of that good stuff. And I think it looks absolutely sick. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Obviously do the subscribe, like, comment, hit the bell thing. I greatly appreciate it. This is the worst time of year coming up after the new year because then it's kind of like it all resets. And then it's like, is it the best or the worst time as a reviewer? Because as a reviewer, there's like an influx of like 40 new designer releases in the first like month and a half, two months of the year, every single year. It's like at least 20 to 30. And so it's great that I'm gonna have the fragrances, but it's gonna be a killer on the wallet. So I can look at it as a negative and a positive. Anyway, I don't know why I just told you guys that, but with that said, I guess that's part of the whole new release thing is that and that's what we're talking about now. So today we're going to be talking about Victor and Rolf and what new release I think they should come from there. I've been saying it for a while. A lot of reviewers have been saying it for a while. Victor and Rolf, if you look at their line, they have Spice Bomb. I mean, that's the line that they have. And they have Spice Bomb, the original, which can be worn in spring, maybe, but for the most part, it's fall and winter fragrance. They have Spice Bomb Extreme. That's a winter fragrance. They have Spice Bomb Infrared Eau de Parfum. Again, it's a fall fragrance, can be worn in winter. Um, you have the original Infrared, which is a fall and winter scent and maybe early spring. I have heard my daughter say that kids are wearing that in the summer too. I have no idea. Uh, with that said, they're all fall and winter scents for the most part. Uh, you have Night Vision that is kind of acts as the night out fragrance for maybe the spring and summer. Um, that's pretty much it. They did have the, um, what, what was it? Spice Bomb Fresh at one point in time. I never tried that. I heard it was good, but I still heard it wasn't like super fresh, which is weird. Anyway, uh, you guys can tell me otherwise in the comments. I honestly don't have any idea. So what's the next release that I expect to come from them? Well, again, I knew that I wanted it to be a fresh fragrance uh, because they need a fresh fragrance in their line. They do. Every line has a fresh fragrance for the most part. Um, so I'm between two. So I'm going to give you both options. One has a bottle and one doesn't have a bottle made up because I don't feel like doing it. But this is made by, again, Kilo Kamikaze, a.k.a. Rob, a.k.a. Ahamzat. Is Spice Bomb Sapphire. I think the bottle looks absolutely sick and it would be the blue version of the line. So yes, it would be able to be worn in the spring and summer, but it's gonna be a blue. I mean, a blue can be worn pretty much all season around. Um, and that's the kind of blue I would make because you do have the fresher blues and then you also like uh, Aqua Essential, stuff like that. Then you have the more warmer blues like Versace Dylan Blue, for instance, that has that amber uh, heavy in it, or Chanel Parfum, but they can wear, still be all, all season round. So I would make Spice Bomb Sapphire a blue fragrance. 
that would include as far as the note breakdown that's where i kind of get in it kind of just becomes boring and it's like a jumble mess it's like it's going to be a blue fragrance so i would obviously going to need some citrus for me personally i wouldn't want to be a grapefruit person because grapefruit is in too many blue fragrances nowadays even though that's like the trademark blue what i would like is a green bergamot to have a nice green edge to it and then a nice mandarin orange um mandarin orange and green bergamot would create a really nice citrusy opening nuance and i wouldn't want it to be too heavy but i also really want the citrus to be there because if it's too heavy then it becomes just a fresh fragrance not a blue fragrance so i would like to have that mixed in with maybe a little bit of like a bergamot skin or something like that but our uh not bergamot skin um grapefruit peel um with that said that would only be if I needed to, but for the most part, I'm going to stick with Mandarin Orange and Green Bergamot. I would also like to have a little bit of a cinnamon in there and pink pepper. So the cinnamon will provide a little bit of a unique spice to a blue that you don't see very often. And then the pink pepper will add that sweetness and spice as well. So you want to have a little bit of sweetness in there to provide a little bit of a balance to the fragrance. As you work your way into the fragrance, you're also going to get some ginger in the mid. Uh, the ginger, I've always loved ginger. I think ginger is a great addition to any blue fragrance. You find it in a lot of them from the YSL Ys to the blue de Chanel's. And then I would still, I mean, it would probably sound, it's a spice bomb. So we're going to have to need another spicy thing in there. Whether it's going to be a little bit of like a resin, like a labdanum, or if we're going to get some spice from like pine um, that'll bring a little bit of that green woodiness but also almost like a spice to it as well as you guys know pine has that kind of spicy smell uh, or we could just add in like i don't know um turmeric which would provide just a similar ginger like smell but i would think maybe cardamom would be the best a nice warm and spiciness to it that won't be too warm um, but that would be nice so we would have again the citrus is in the opening the ginger a little bit of pine and maybe some cardamom in the mid we might have a little bit of incense in the dry down as well but then i would like my woods to be again amberwood and sandalwood uh, i think that they amberwood you kind of need that in the type of fragrance that i'm trying to form and i don't think spice bomb would go too fresh like i said and then you would have a little bit of a creaminess to add either a cedar or a sandalwood add a little bit of a creamy sweetness from the woodiness that would be great and then some vetiver and again like i said maybe some labdanum or stick to the trend of the spice bomb line and add a little bit of vanilla in there um, i think that would be a nice versatile scent um but again those that's just me topping off the top it's like i don't have anything written down around me that I, i'm just kind of going off the top of my head of what i would like to see in a fragrance and if i'm thinking about a blue fragrance most blue fragrances are surrounded by specific notes and so i wanted to get a little bit more unique outside of it by adding in like the pine and some vanilla and whatnot but i just you don't want to go too crazy with a blue fragrance and so that i would like to have maybe again cinnamon nutmeg pink pepper as the spice bomb part of it with a little bit of pine and cardamom to add some spice to it as well while still remaining fresh and blue um so that that would be the one hand on the other hand i said it's in ross's live if it's not going to be a blue fragrance i want it to be a straight fresh fragrance like spice bomb French fresh and i think that it should be called spice bomb either ultraviolet yeah i a spice <clears throat> Spice Bomb Ultraviolet, and that would be something that has kumquat. So it's going to be like more of a tropical style fragrance. It's going to have kumquat lime. Kumquat's almost like a, kind of like orangish. Uh, and then it's going to have lime. I, I really love lime. And then you mix that together with some kind of tropical fruit. I don't know exactly what the tropical fruit would be. Um... You could do mango, you could do something like that, mix that together, and then you would add in pink pepper that would provide a nice, unique, sp sweet and spiciness. A little bit of cinnamon. I don't know why, I just like the cinnamon, but it's spice bomb, so you need to have some spice. So I think the pink pepper and cinnamon are gonna be in either one of them for me. And then as you get to the dry down, you might, I know most people don't like coconut, so I'm gonna keep the coconut out of there. 
And I'm going to add in a little bit of pineapple in the dry down with some vanilla and sandalwood. I think that would be a nice, fresh, creamy, tropical, yet slightly citrus fragrance. That would be called Spice Bomb Ultraviolet. And that would be what I would like to have. Um, maybe with a little bit of a green tea note in there would be nice too. Like a tropical tea. I don't know. Um, the tea might be a little bit too much. So again, it would be the lime and kumquat. We have a little bit of pineapple in there. Cinnamon, pink pepper. I still think that that would be a great fragrance with the vanilla and sandalwood. Uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think of those. I honestly don't feel like talking anymore. So if you like those, let me know in the comments below. If not, I guess I'll be back with another video. So, yep, yeah, see you then. I'm tired from the holidays. Peace.